guys, welcome back to Siberia Fractured Muffin Cake here, hope you're doing well. Um, and I am still recording, um, loving it, so cool. So we just backed this up once after finding some kind of room, but I'm not sure how we get in there at this stage. We can't go any further that way. Let's pop to the train and go over to the other side, just to see what we can find, if anything. don't know if we can. Because we couldn't go forward anymore. Uh, let's carry on for the minute. I wonder if it's worth speaking to Oscar. Uh, we'll cross over to the side. And we'll give from there. I hope you're enjoying this uh, playthrough. I'm loving it. It's really, really good. And I can't wait to uh, get on to... Oh no, we can't go to that side. I can't wait to get to episode, uh, or the season two of Siberia 2. So we haven't found a lot. So let's talk with Oscar. See if he can be of any help at all. Oscar, what's going on? Why has mm. the train stopped? Where are we? The springs of the train are on. Well, we'd better get looking. The air. Right. See you soon, Ask. I shall stay right. We've done that bit right, so he's not going to be much help. Can't do much in here because we need to open it. But it's locked. That door is locked. I've got to find another way around. Why couldn't I get through that door? Or well, that hole? Well, it was a bit small, wasn't it? Uh, let's carry on. We have got the cylinder on us. Let's go and listen to that. It might give us some clues. That's an idea. It might just be a musical one. It could be a voice one. I'm not sure. It's been left there, possibly by hands, or unless he's received it from Anna. But we'll go play it and see what mysteries it hides. So, let's get this. Oh, it's a voice. It's a voice one, which is good. My dear brother. What joy to have news of you after your long silence during the war years. So, you're working for the Russians now. I tell you, we've been hearing some worrying stories about them here. Just your description of that dingy factory makes me cough. But it's so good to hear that your talent is being recognized for its true value, and that your automaton creations are taking the place of workers for all those menial jobs. Wow. I'm so proud that Vorlberg automatons are making such a contribution, even if it is small, to the improvement of people's lives. Meanwhile, back in Baladalen, we've been licking our wounds after the war years. Some people have returned, others not. Life is slowly coming back, but it's taking time. All my love, Anna. Hmm, okay. Right, let's just look here. It could be the that could be the last one actually. Okay, so let's pop out again. So yeah, use for mining during the war. I think we can go in there, can we? Can't go that way. Hmm. Gotta be something I'm missing. Can't go that way. Looks like we're going down again. So we've got the vent. Ah, uh, that's to take the lift up. So if we come out and then take the lift up. Is there anything behind that? I don't need that? to do that. Oh, okay. Um, it's 
got to be something around here that I'm missing. That looks like a ventilation duct. Yeah, well, can't you do anything with it? We haven't got anything. There's nothing here that I can see that's of use. So a quick screen swipe. It won't let us go down any further. Okay, let's have another look at the uh, this here. Oh, this thing's jammed. Yeah, something's got to go in there, but I don't know what. It's got to be some kind of uh, fuse or something. Oh, I don't know. Let's um, let's go back up again. I can't go that way. Hmm. Let's go back there for a second. Am I missing something here? Or is that the same thing? No, it's the same way. Okay. What, oh, what are we missing here? I can't get off it if I move it forward one. Hmm. I thought that was a lantern then. can't see anything else. This just moves us back and forward. <sighs> Let's go forward one. Maybe that hook will do something. Because what does this do? Nothing. Hmm. It's definitely missing something. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I can go down from here. Okay, let's uh, go across here again. Can't do anything with that. Um, I don't know what to do, guys.
What's that? Oh, just jumping across again. I'm quite excited then. Hmm. I am stuck. Right, let's have a think about this. Try going forward one more. Let's see if we can do anything with that red button. The thing will be over the train. Oh! Okay, so we'll go back one. I have to go back one more. So we can get down the ground again. Oh, so like... Awesome. It's just a word for it. Okay. Let's go down. I wonder if that's all I've got to do. I'm not sure. Maybe there's other things who are just... Hey! Who's that? There. Who's that? Quick! Who's that? Who be that? It's locked. That door is locked. Okay. I've got to find another way around. Let's have a word with uh, Oscar. Maybe... <gasps> Oscar! He was on the train. <laughs> no! Stop interrupting yes? me! Kate, can you hear me this time? Oh, God. Yes, I can hear you just perfectly, Dan, but I can't talk to you now. I'm in a real hurry. I wanted to say sorry. I know I wasn't very understanding last time. I've been feeling a bit bad about it. Okay, you're a real sweetheart, but I've got to leave you now. I'm not angry with you, so don't worry. I've just got to catch up to someone, and quick. But Kate, Kate, this is really important. I'll call you back, Dan. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't love you, Dan. We don't love you. Right. Um, quick. Where, where's Oscar? Oh, no. What's going on? Some things are starting to flash back. I'm a bit worried. Hello? My god, Oscar! <gasps> Oscar! Oscar, talk to me! He can't. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and, and, indescribable. I, I have been attacked. What do you mean you've been attacked? My hands. I no longer have them. What? They've been stolen. My God, you haven't got your hands. But who did this? What's going on here? We can be sure of one thing, Kate Walker. That this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. I was standing here polishing up my metalwork. I was just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to... Oscar. 
I was very busy, and I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible. I can oh, believe it, my no. poor Oscar, but did you see him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and brown scaly skin. <laughs> and he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker. A real monster. And he had... A weapon? Oscar, please calm down. Everything's going to be all right. Hmm. Who the heck would be interested in automaton hands? Even though I say so myself, my hands are two marvels of technology. Please promise to return them to me intact as quickly as possible. I am very attached to them, Kate. Well, not Walker. the moment, you're not. You were attached to them, Oscar. <laughs> but like you said, I'm a brave and resourceful woman. Thank you, Kate Walker. But please, above all, do be careful. Don't you worry about that, Oscar. Okay. Right, Oscar. Let's go find this hand bandit. And this time, we're not going to be such a pushover. A hand Walker, bandit. Please do not think that this problem does not concern me. But if it's all the same to you, I would so much prefer to stay here, just to be on the safe side. An engineer never abandons his train, after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... I mean, mm. not to help me out. Lend a hand. Even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. Oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. I am on the verge of a clockwork breakdown. And all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. Hmm. Uh, Anything else you remember, Oscar? I have told you everything, and I'd rather not think about it anymore. How old do you think your attacker was? How old? Such monsters are ageless. I tell you, my wheel work froze with fear. I think he must have been an older man. Someone with a soft spot for automatons. An expert who knows how to dismantle a pair of hands with a pair of pliers. I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. And what if it was Hans Varlberg himself? No. Kate Walker, in spite of the respect in which I hold you, permit me to say that such an idea is stupid. Hans Varlberg, my attacker. A father would never attack his offspring. Get a grip on yourself. I should point out in all modesty that my attacker must have had muscles to overcome an automaton of my build. Hmm. Maybe you're right there, Oscar. I do apologize. Right. Uh, train. Do you know if your attacker stole anything else? As soon as he'd swiped my hands, he ran away. Well, at least that's one good piece of news. The train's still intact. What do you mean, intact? I am the train engineer. It was designed for me, and I for it. By maiming me in this brutal manner, the barbarian has also mutilated our locomotive. Without me and my hands, we're never going anywhere. Sure, okay. Could you maybe tell me how the train works, then? That is strictly forbidden, Kate Walker. There is only one engineer, and that train engineer is me. I am sure you don't have a license or authorization or even a deputy engineer's permit. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the right moment to get wrapped up in red tape, Oscar? Regulations are regulations, Kate Walker. Okay, so we need right. to I'm go done. and have a look. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. We could never forget you, can we? So there's some pliers. They might help to get through that top bit. Okay, can we have a drink on the way? No, okay, let's go. So we need to move the... Uh, mechanical thing forward one and then climb out onto that uh, ridge again 
and see if we can make that hole wider, I guess, with the pliers or whatever they are. This is some kind of cool. I've recorded so much today. Maybe four or five episodes. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so we need to go forward one, please. At least the train's wound up. We just need to get his hands back. Why do they want his hands? To stop him driving the train or what? Okay, so let's exit. And then jump over here. Okay, let's see if we can use Look at that. I if we'll find a fuse in here, that's what we need. <laughs> Come on then, in you go. Careful. See anything here as such? What's up here? Oh, that's what we need. Sweet. Make sure there's nothing else. Lots of like um, cogs and stuff playing around. Let's have a look through this window with a nice handprint. Oh wow, it's huge. Can we go through this way? I can't go that way. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. So let's go out, uh, move the machine back, and then see if we can put that fuse down in the mine to light our way. Hopefully. Okay, so I want to go back one. Thank you. Okay, out we come. Down we go. Lift, please. What are we going to find? Because I can't remember. Okay, so let's... Uh, spark plug. Ooh! A bit brighter. Oh wow, it goes quite a way down. Can we do anything with this yet? That looks like a ventilation duct. <clears throat> Not as yet. Okay, so let's go. 
That was a TV. It was a rat. I don't do rats. Is there a TV down here? Okay, looks like we're going to go this way. Or something. Put change oh, into a spanner. There we are. Oh, it's because of that lever. I know. Going to the lift. Hmm, let's see where this takes us. Oh, it's into the factory. Oh, wow. Um, this is a lot bigger than I. Uh, Remember that must be the door. That door is locked. Yeah, it's the door that um, they went through. It's huge, isn't it? much in this area. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh okay. We've got screws. I don't think we've got anything on us, have we? I don't think can we use that on them? No. find a screwdriver anywhere. See anything here. So let's go this way. What's that? Was it like a organ thing? Screwdriver? Is that his hands? Okay, we've got the screwdriver. Let's go back and undo those um, screws. It's more intriguing every step I take. Oh, I don't like the squeaking. I would have just climbed over it to be honest. Wasn't really blocking my way. Oh wow. This place gets more intriguing all the time. Hello, who are you? Hey you, who are you? Careful, I'm warning you. I'm not afraid of you, okay? What do you want? Why did you do that? There must be some misunderstanding. Because you reckon theft is all about misunderstanding, do you? Give me my hands back, now. Hmm. <laughs> your hands? And what are those on the ends of your arms? I can explain everything to you. You see, I'm no thief. You broke into my train, assaulted my driver, mutilated him and stole his hands. Apart from that, you are not a thief. 
I have not stolen them, miss. Only borrowed them for a while. You've got to be joking. I'm not joking with you, miss. I would never take such liberties. They belong to Oscar, my automaton engineer. Why did you steal them? They are extraordinary. Real mechanical wonders. I would never have been capable of designing such hands myself. Never! Such workmanship. Such precision crafting. It is... It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just because you like them, you decided to steal them? I have only borrowed them, little Missy. Little Missy? Temporarily, you understand? Mm -hmm. Of course, I shall return them to you when I don't need them anymore. You can... Excuse me? You see, these hands are all I need to complete my plan. At last, I can finish off my automaton pianist and fulfill my dreams. Everything is now in place. You see, I have converted this old, useless, stupid factory into a magical theater. As you can see, the furnaces, piping, chimney stacks, they've all been converted into one gigantic organ. I will be able to accompany the world's greatest living singer. Now, all I need is her. <gasps> Okay. Who are you? Sergei <laughs> Borodin, the director of the industrial city of Komskolgrad. Komskolgrad. What is left of it, at least. But who are you, for that matter? And why have you stopped in my station without authorization? I didn't choose to stop in your station, but my train has a technical problem. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm an American lawyer. It is very kind of you to come so far just to visit this place. Uh, I repeat again, I never intended to stop here. I'm on a business trip. I'm a lawyer, goddammit. <laughs> right. And what <clears throat> brings you here? Like I said, a stupid mechanical hitch. I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of your story at all. Without my engineer's hands, I'm stuck here, you see? Everything I have designed, all that I have invented, everything is for her. Do you realize her. her? Oh, to hear her sing one more time here in my factory. But who is she? Who are you talking about? Helena, the one and only Helena Romansky. Oh, Her God. voice is so pure, like an angel. One day she came here to Komkoldsgrad. She sang here, you know, when our industrial city was in its heyday. Oh, so long ago now. It was almost unreal. It was magical. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then, later, a long time later, she saved my soul. She saved my life and gave it meaning. When I was told that the mining program was to be abandoned, that this industrial city was consigned to oblivion, that I, its director, would from then on be nothing but a guardian of these rusting remains of a bygone age, that is when I first formed my plan. To bring Helena Romansky back to this factory. But this time, she would sing for me. And me alone. Nice dodgy. And is she okay about this? Sure, sure. Once she finds out that I have done all this for her. When she realizes how I converted this vast network of pipes and tubes to create one of the most impressive organs ever made. Then, you know, this was no small achievement, miss. Once molten iron flowed through here, now there wafts only beautiful melodies. 
But then I realized I had to make an automaton pianist. I began to despair that I would never create hands that were intricate enough. But then you arrived. So lucky, don't you think? Uh, not for <laughs> yeah, us. That must have been a happy coincidence for someone around here. So, when will this Madame Romansky come back? When do I get my hands back? I don't know. Maybe someone should look for her. Tell her. Hey, why don't you go? The quicker you bring her back, the sooner you can carry on your business trip. Now, isn't that a good idea? Wow. And you promise that once Helena has sung, you will give me back my automaton's hands? I promise, my dear. You have my solemn word. Well, I guess I'm going to have to believe you. Where should I go hunting for this singer, then? I have no idea. But for a woman of the world like yourself, finding her should pose no obstacle. Helena Romansky was a world celebrity, you know. I have collected many objects, souvenirs of her that I keep in a room. A shrine to her glory. It's like her own personal museum, in a way. You should take a look. Okay. <laughs> this whole story is completely nuts. Okay. And what if I helped you to make some other hands? Just for your automaton. Why should life be complicated when I already have what I need? And I very much doubt you are in any position to create such a perfect pair of hands. You mentioned an automaton pianist, didn't you? Where did you find it? I pieced it together myself, my dear. Except for the hands, that is. I admit but I underestimated the intricacy of this part of the design. A pianist's hands are very important, after all. But enough. Now he has a perfect set of hands. Your passion amazes me. Have you designed any other automatons here? No. Clockwork mechanisms do not interest me as such. I simply needed a robot capable of accompanying Helena Romansky on my huge organ. I adapted an existing model, a reject automaton secretary. I reconstructed it and adapted it to this new function. An existing model, you say? Did you ever know Hans Vorlberg? He was a kind of mechanical genius, like yourself. Hans Vorlberg? Yes. Or maybe... I don't know. No. No. Sure, I understand. The number of automatons still functioning in this abandoned complex is amazing, though. My dear, one thing is for sure. For many years, I have been totally alone here. If that man ever came to this city, he left long, long ago. When you stepped on the train, you were trespassing on private property. Everything in this city, sweet lady, belongs to the state. And to all intents and purposes, the state in this city is me. My train is not a part of this factory. And besides, we never would have stopped here in the first place if its engine hadn't needed winding. Well, as long as your train is at this station, it may be requisitioned and used for industrial purposes. I don't think so. Out of the question. And I forbid you to do so. Maybe I won't have to. Perhaps we can maybe come to some kind of agreement, my sweet lady. Oh, God. I hope so. And fast. Okay. Please, so Let's go and have me. a look. I have to go now. So be it. Let's go and have a look at that room, the shrine that he lowered down. Can we go that way? It's 
seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. A oh, monorail? Oh, okay. Let's go down here then. Sounds a bit um, weird. Oh God! She looks quite old. She's still alive, or what? Oh, what's this? Young Helena Romanski's crystal clear voice moves amateurs and professionals alike. Gathered at the ninth Vox Dior Festival in Brussels, the young Russian soprano was the revelation of the event. She is an exceptional talented singer. And at the tender age of 20, Helena looks to a very promising career ahead of her. Okay. Looks like the final record. This is obviously when she came to the factory. Seems to be lots of uh, okay, so it looks like she wasn't very well here either. That's her last public event, okay. Oh, yeah, he's a bit obsessive, isn't he? I'm not going to read through these because there's, there's quite a few. Nineteen ninety-seven. Looks like they were all returned, so doesn't seem very good, does it? Hmm. Not a lot else in here. She's probably not even still alive. It's a little bit worrying, but uh, I'm not sure what we have to do next. So guys, I think what I'll do is I'll leave that episode there because I have gone over quite a bit really getting into this game. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you join me in the next one. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and bye bye.